Hi everyone, this is a beginner's guide for the Yesu FT991A. Specifically for those that are just beginning into the hobby or just uh, received their first uh, mobile radio like me. So come along and please enjoy the video. The first thing I want to do is reset the radio. To do that, I'm going to press and hold the fast and lock key and then press the power button. Okay, it's reset, a full reset. The next thing I want to do is I want to change how bright the LCD is and these LEDs. To do that, I'm going to click on the menu button. And I'm going to scroll to number seven for dimmer LED. It says number two, that's the brightest. I'm going to select, I'm going to change it to number one, and you can see it's dimmer. Two, right? Two, one, two and one. So I'm going to put it in one. Enter. I'm going to go to dimmer TFT. I'm going to, right now it's number, sometimes hard to read. Eight, it looks like. Select. And then here's nine. You can see it goes up to 15. That's pretty bright. So we're going to lower it down for this video. We're going to put it at a number four. I'm going to enter. I'm going to go back. All right. So we're good with that. So let's, uh, so what happens when you turn on the radio? There's some text that show up. Let's change that. You can put your call sign or something else. And also let's change the date and the time. To do that, if we press the menu button, we get the setup. So press and hold. Okay. My call. We're going to click on that. We're going to change to my call sign. K N O N K N 6 B S T. Okay. Then enter. And then we can do the time and the date. Right? The time is 15:33. Enter. Daylight savings, okay. We, we are. And then the date, we type in the date and we press enter. We can go back. We're still in the setup. We gotta click on menu to get out. Awesome. Now, let's do the more interesting thing. So right now, we are in um, seven megahertz. You can see there is no um, spectrum going on because this radio is not connected to an HF antenna. Right now it's connected to a, a two meter seven or, or and 70 centimeter antenna. Okay, when we get there, then we can see the spectrum. So let's click on band. Let's click on 144. Ah, you can see the spectrum. And in the mode, we can change it to uh, FM. Volume is over here. We'll lower down the volume. Okay. Uh, a couple of other things. We are in VFOA. You can see it here as well. We can uh, receive, which is green, and transmit, which is red. You can also see it here, green to receive and red to transmit. Those sometimes split, depending on where in the band you are. Uh, you can see also in the mode, AM, um, lower sideband, upper sideband, and so forth, some of the data, C4FM as well. Uh, if you um, click on band and you want to enter a frequency, let's enter a frequency here. Let's say 446, 446, uh, 000, right? You can see, you can transmit and receive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to transmit, and you'll see the icon, a tower icon here, a red one that's going to be solid. If the red icon is blinking, that means that's the frequency that the radio doesn't transmit. All right, let's test this out. So look over here and see how we're, how we're um, transmitting. This is KN6BST, radio check. 
and as you can see the um, icon was solid red and nobody's coming back to me that's okay all right so what about if uh, how to scan right this band well with the button what you can do is we have down fast and up so we can click and hold down let's go on the left and there it goes we can stop and we can continue and press and hold Com uh, see how it stopped right there it's probably listening to something and it's keep it's going to keep going if you want to completely stop you can click here as well okay and then you can click on fast and you can see it'll go fast here as well you can click it here and then fast it's going to move the scanning faster click and hold on up it's landed to that area again and then it keeps going see that and then we can stop it right there okay so that's how you scan you can also use the tuning knob or dial right here right you can make this stiffer or or uh, loose by moving the collar here see see that's really fast right and if you click on the fast uh, button it goes even faster of course or you can tighten this collar and make it a little more stiffer and now it's going to be uh, much stiff when you move this um, tuning dial okay so that's the um, you know that's moving fast and slow on scanning now right now we are you can hear that right well you might be able to hear that um, right now we are in spectrum let's see if we can change that to a waterfall all right let's do that so we're going to click on the menu button and then we're going to scroll all the way to up to 115. okay let's do that 115. it's hard to read sometimes there it is spectrum select waterfall and enter excellent then the span of the frequency you can change it uh, 200 kilohertz 500 thousand 50 we'll leave it at 200 enter and then you can have a spectrum color of blue uh, what other colors you might say well it's blue and gray and green and orange and purple blue is cool enter and then uh, for the waterfall colors multi sky blue red purple orange green gray blue uh, multi is cool enter back oh there it is look at that let's go over there see that Okay, so that's working. That's cool. All right, let's do SQL now. Um, as you can see, SQL is over here for the squelch. So as you know, like the handy talk, sometimes they'll have a button. You press it and it opens the squelch. Right here, if you click here and use the multi-dial, if you go to zero, it opens it. You move it closer uh, to a higher number it's going to be it's going to close the squelch okay and here we can open it all right and then close it all right cool you can also find it um on the f button here and you go to sql There it is click on it and then you can move the dial the multi dial okay so opening the squelch put it to zero and it opens 
Now let's do the gain. Okay, we can press F button again. So sometimes, you know, some people won't be able to hear you. You might have to increase your mic gain. That's not a problem, F button. And then we'll find gain somewhere. Let's see if I don't miss it. My gain right here, see? And 50, uh, for me, I have to increase it probably to like 65. And then press the F button, right? Excellent. And then uh, the next thing I want to do is the meter. So over here we have PO means the transmit power. But let's say I wanted to change it. Uh, I wanted to change it so that it, uh, it gives me SWR. So I can click on the F button. And look, RF, uh, no. Is it on? No, 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 no. I want uh, the meter. Okay, meter. There it is, meter right here. All right. And if you touch it, it gives you all these different options. So here you got VDD, right? Drain voltage. I don't know what that is. PO for transmit power. ALC is for voltage. SWR is for matching state. We better need that. Comp for speech processor. Don't know what that is for yet. ID is for uh, drain current fit transmission or something. Okay, that's cool. Let's, uh, let's do it in um, SWR. Let's leave it there. Let's press the F button. Okay. Ah, then the, the RF power, right? Let's do that. F button. Here's the RF uh, power. And then we can use the um, multi dial all right and we can lower down the volume here move it around you can also lock this if you want to you can lock it here so that it won't go anywhere the next thing i want to do is to change these bottom buttons and um how do you do that well we press the f button and then we got to go where it says swap Here's swap. I like RF power there. Uh, SQL, I like. Channel dial, I want to change. I want to change it to MCH, which is the memory channel. So I click on swap. That's going to blink. And I got to go look for um, memory channel. See, it changed. Then this one, I want meter. All right, let's do that. Swap, that's blinking. Let's look for meter somewhere here it is now we're good f okay that's awesome now i have all the um uh buttons that i want over here okay that should give you some basic understanding of the radio to get started um there's going to be a lot more uh, videos that i'm going to show in terms of like setting it up for VHF, UHF, uh, HF, which is that's that's going to be a very big challenge, um, you know, for repeaters, for simplex, for all the things that this radio can do um, other than HF. So come along with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please subscribe. Please uh, put a thumbs up, and I hope you're well and safe. Goodbye.